Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Martin with Bellevue Auto Spa. Today's video, another torture test, which I know torture tests are a favorite on this channel. If uh, my torture test videos are your favorite, leave a comment below, let me know. Uh, but what we're going to be testing out here, uh, one brand you may have heard of, another brand you probably have not heard of, and hopefully you hear it more soon, and a sample. Um, this is a pre-production sample. This isn't really part of the test, so I don't have a label on the panel. Um, but it is on there just so I have some data to report back to the manufacturer on uh, what we need to improve uh, or what we need to change. Uh, then we've also got uh, Torque Detail. So this is the brand you probably know. Um, Torque Detail Ceramic Spray. Uh, Torque Detail um, we've got an interesting history. Um, as a lot of you guys know, I sell products for Wyatt Ryan West Industries. Uh, we don't make stuff for Torque, um, but it, once upon a time we may have. Um, anyways, Torque reached out to me through email, asked if I wanted to test their products out. I said, sure, why not? And uh, here we are with it. So this is their ceramic spray, water-based ceramic spray. Claims up to 12 months of protection. As you can see right there. Uh, shake well before use, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I applied two layers of it. And um, it's been sitting here for two days. So definitely more than a five-hour cure time. And then we've got uh, Monkey Head. So Monkey Head uh, is a brand, it's Horizon Manufacturing's in-house brand. So those of you outside of the detailing uh, space of companies, I guess you could say, uh, Monkey Head and Horizon Manufacturing are owned by Yancey Martinez. If you don't know who Yancey Martinez is, Yancey used to be over at uh, Auto Geek. He used to be the, um, he was in charge of social media and I believe uh, videography, video editing and such at Auto Geek for a long time. Uh, basically anytime you saw Mike Phillips behind the camera, Yancey was there recording. You've probably seen Yancey on camera or at least heard him because um, he would always throw his two cents in, in a joking way. Yancey is a very lighthearted guy. Um, so he, Yancey and Mike both left Auto Geek because uh, of some management changes I believe. They went over to 3D. 3D ended up selling the brand, even though um, I found out Toonch is still there heading um, product development, but he's just more hands-off nowadays. He's, you know, he's, he's old, he's ready to retire, uh, but he still loves doing what he's, what he's doing. So he's just in a more hands-off um, role at 3D. So then Mike and Yancey both left 3D. Yancey left 3D before Mike, and then Mike soon, uh, followed after, and then Mike went to Auto Forge, and now Mike's with... Uh, Dr. Beasley's. Mike has changed companies a lot. After Yancey left 3D, he said, hey, you know what, let's, uh, he told me he got a hell of a deal on purchasing a chemical manufacturing facility. Uh, he went for it, so I believe he is in Stewart, Florida still. Um, so he purchased the facility. He, for the last year or so, he has been creating some different products. And here is, uh, he actually sent me all of his products, um, but here is one of them. They all say lab sample because this is not the production Labeling, I believe the production, this is the production formula, still subject to change, of course, and this brand should be launching here soon. Uh, stay tuned to the various uh, social media channels, you'll be seeing more of that. Um, this is his Silux SiO2 spray protectant. Um, this is, I believe he said, up to 12 month uh, spray sealant uh, slash sprayable coating. This is actually alcohol based, not water based like Torque, but they both are supposed to be up to 12 months, so I figure let's test them side by side. Um, I actually originally was going to test this against Ryan West Industries uh, Fusion spray coating. Uh, Fusion is, as you know, is water-based. It is insanely durable, um, but it's not slick. It's not a big deal. Some people just like slickness. Me personally, I mean, sure, slickness is nice as you're applying, but you don't really. It doesn't really matter after that. Uh, protection is is what's most important. Um, so we'll compare those, and then we got this pre-production sample. So without any further ado, let's get over to the panel. Alrighty, so let me know how you guys like that uh, camera angle. Um, I've got the light positioned where it's not glaring directly into the camera, and I feel we got a pretty close up angle. So, anyways, uh, taking a look here at the panel, let me grab my inspection light real quick just so we can see the differences. Uh, so, torque looks like it is a shade, it does enhance the, the paint in a shade better. The monkey head does. Here's a tape line right here. Um, so it may be hard to see on camera, but anyways, yeah. Pre-production sample thing was a little streaky when I was applying it, so 
one of my uh, feedback notes there. Now let's test the slickness, dry microfiber, bare paint, bark definitely slicker than the bare paint. Ooh, Silex is really slick. Yeah, Silex is going to take it there for the slickness. Uh, not a huge difference though, but definitely kind of have a difference to notice. So first, let's test the uh, water beating. See how the water behavior is on this panel here. So I got it on the shower setting. So if we flood it. Uh, well, work doesn't look all that hydrophobic. Silex definitely seems more hydrophobic. A production sample, not the greatest. You hit it like this and you can see the beating. And both are definitely beaters. The beating is pretty good. And then we missed it on. This is what simulates rainfall. That's how the rain would look falling on it. Not bad. Pretty good, right? All right, so first things first. We're going to wash it using uh, 3D Super Soap, which we'll use between each round of chemical. First, we want to see how the products handle being washed with car shampoo. Ugh. Flat yeah, no problem at all. I'm a car shampoo, no issues. So first product is going to be uh, Hybrid Solutions Rapid Decon. This is a iron removing wheel cleaner, pH balance, so nothing too crazy aggressive. Smell also not too bad. For being a stinky air remover. Rinse. All right, then we'll wash. See how that did. All right, they both handled it, no problem at all. Next, we're going to do um, Chemical Guys Nonsense All Purpose Cleaner. This is a pH balance degreaser at a 5 to 1 dilution ratio. You can see how it's just repelling a chemical there. All right, doing good. Work doing better than I thought it would. And guys, you know this difference between my uh, chemical resistance tests, my Georgia tests, and other YouTube channels is I have my panel vertical. They tend to have theirs horizontal. So I like to keep the panel vertical because you can really see if it is actually repelling versus the rest of the panel versus it having to have gravity just directly against it and uh, instead of assisting it and then things appear to fail faster than they really have, in my opinion. That's why I hope I do it this way. Uh, so next is 3D Super Citrus, all-purpose cleaner. That is strongest dilution. I don't actually know the pH level of this. I should probably test it. If I had to guess, it's probably on the alkaline side. Nothing crazy strong, though.
Ali. Lugares. Everything's still doing good. Uh, Torque looks like it's doing ever so slightly better. So I know Torque's been through a few iterations of their um, ceramic detailer. Or not their ceramic detailer, their ceramic sealant. So this might mean be no BS from them. They might have made a good product here. Because uh, I know Torque is one of those brands that's... They're advertised just like F11 Shine Armor. They over, way over promise and way undersell. I know like the Torque Detail Mirror Shine. I mean, I guess they only advertise that as, hey, it's glossy, but protection wise and stuff was not great. Um, but the ceramic spray looking pretty good. Uh, next, this is 3D Super Degreaser. This is in the high alkaline degreaser at their strongest solution ratio. Go ahead and wipe that in. Uh, and I don't do, um, I do not include Tarx in my tests anymore. Tarx is expensive, <laughs> and it just it's it's it, it kills everything. It really does uh, because it's it's a limonene solvent. It's not you know it's not a regular cleaner. It's stuff you dissolve tar. It's going to get through everything but ceramic coating. It's just about. Not bad, not bad. Give it a wash. Uh, they're still doing really good. That would equal. Still say a slight edge to torque. Uh, next we're going to use... Uh, what is this? Superior Dark Fury. This is an alkaline wheel cleaner and bug remover. Notable for this unique surfactant it uses. Like brown. That does a pretty strong cleaner. Interesting smell, I've always thought, from those types of products. Not wheel and tire cleaners, but these ones that use brown surfactant. I think uh, Brown Royal is like the oldest one. There's Superior Dark Fury, of course. Um, Secret Labs, Bronze Bomber. Some other company has Brown Bomber. And then Suds Lab has their XDA wheel cleaner. Ooh, that looks like they might have taken a hit. Let's see. It's been wash. Oh yeah. That definitely impacted them. Not beating water, sheeting it away as fast anymore, but still very much protected. Monkey head took more of a hit than torque, but still doing pretty good. I mean, you see it still gets the water away pretty quickly. So now we're going to go to Adam's wheel and tire cleaner. This is a, a strong, high foaming, degreaser based wheel and tire cleaner. This is not a foaming uh, sprayer on it, it just it's so actively foamy, it foams as you spray it, and that's why I love it. Not just that, but it's also incredibly strong, unlike Brake Buster. Brake Buster is not very strong at all. <laughs> that's why it's so cheap. Adams, very strong. And the foam, the reason I like foam guys with wheel and tire cleaners, it gives you more dwell time. 
and clings to the surface. It doesn't just run off. The more it clings, the more cleaning you're going to get out of it. And the, uh, less, the more time you have before it dries, so also safer to use. Doing good, man. Splash it off. Definitely still taking a hit, but still going. Well, yeah, pretty good. Pretty, pretty freaking good. Uh, so final product here, it's going to be Meguiar's wheel brightener, acid wheel cleaner, which has been discontinued. Rest in peace because it was a great product. I don't know why they discontinued it. I had to get something to do with Meguiar's and California and all their stupid laws. I mean, yeah, it, acid is not good for your health. Obviously follow proper precautions, but um, two options I'm considering changing are either 3D super wheel cleaner, is acid, not hydro hydrochloric acid. I think one of those acids, so it is acid or superior. I've got two options. One of them is wire wheel cleaner. I want the stronger one because if I'm grabbing an acid, it's, it's for a reason. It's not because I just want some general cleaning. I want strong cleaning. Well, let me know. Let me know what the strongest acid wheel cleaner you've ever used is. That's available for purchase online, not some stuff that you get locally that I'm going to have a hell of a time getting. Something I can go online and buy. Let me know. I'm going to run out, run out of uh, wheel brightener eventually. <laughs> Give it a wash and see our results. Okay, so Torque is no BS with their ceramic spray. It has a good shot at lasting up to 12 months. Um, Monkey Head, I also believe, can last up to 12 months. Which, surprisingly, even though it is alcohol-based, not as strong as Torque's water-based product. So, um, But this is their first iteration. Things will probably change soon at some point. Not soon, but I'm sure they will change at some point for the better. Uh, where Torque, this is Torque's third iteration. Torque's been at it for a few years now. So their third iteration of a wheel and tire clean, wheel and tire, Jesus. Their third iteration of a uh, ceramic spray. Pretty good. I got to give hats off to your Torque. I am very surprised. So let's hit it with shower setting. So you can definitely flood. How fast does Bunky Head get the water away? There it is right there. And how fast does Torque get the water away? Even faster. And then hit the mist setting. So if it rains, it's still gonna repel the water like it's nothing. Work even more so. So there you have it, guys. Uh, cork and monkey head silos. Uh, my pre-production sample. We're gonna have to uh, explore that a little bit more with the manufacturer. But again, <laughs> that's why we do pre-production. Some companies will send stuff straight to production and it's crap. You do pre-production testing to make sure you don't do that. Right? Right. Anyways, final thoughts time. All right, so final thoughts. Uh, again, this is just chemical resistance. Uh, Monkey Head slicker product, definitely um, not quite as durable, but not very far behind. Torque really surprised me. I'm going to give him a thumbs up. and that's, not, that's something I did not expect myself ever to do for Torque detail. So way to go, Torque. Um, I'll post a link to this on Amazon 
I believe it's on Amazon. I'll post a link to uh, Monkey Head's website, uh, which is through Horizon Manufacturing. They should be launching soon. And I've got a lot more products from Monkey Head to test out, so stay tuned for that. Um, and then for this, we are going to continue to approve on this product. And then uh, eventually, I will tell you all what it is. Um, and don't, don't bother guessing, because I'm not going to tell you. Um, anyways, I appreciate you all watching. Um, oh yeah, and something to note, um, slicker product, not as durable. That's, that's usually how it goes. The less slick products tend to have more durability than a beam. Um, but you know, it all depends on what you're looking for. Um, but that's all I got for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you did. Uh, make sure to subscribe. The more subscribers I get, the more things like this I can do and continue to do. And I appreciate you all. Uh, do subscribe and watch and give the video a thumbs up. Um, and leave a comment down below. Let me know. Um, just start throwing some product ideas out there. If I hear people say the same product multiple times, I may just test it out. Um, but that's all I got for you in this video. I will see you all in the next one. Keep them clean. Have a good one.